Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw a water drop. First open a new document. I'm going to change my background to a different color so you can better see what we are doing. Let's change the stroke to none and leave the fill white. Now either press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel. And draw an ellipse. Next, click on it and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the Shift and Alt keys to make a copy. With this ellipse still selected, we will add a gradient to it. If your gradient window is not open, go to Window and select Gradient. Select White and Black Gradient and change its type to Radial. Now press the letter G to show the gradient slider directly on the object and let's make a few adjustments. Hover over the end of this gradient bar, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the shift key as well. This will rotate the slider by 45 degrees increments. Now click on the small black circle, hold and drag to match the profile of this ellipse. Let's move it down a bit and adjust the gradient. You can do it directly on the object or from the gradient panel. Basically, you want a thin dark shadow on the top edge. Next, select the other ellipse and we will add a different effect to it. Go to Effect, Stylize and select Drop Shadow. Turn on the preview box, change the X offset to 0 and the blur to 3. Now select both ellipses, open the transparency window. If you can't see it, go to window and select transparency. Change the blending mode to multiply and the opacity to 70%. Next we'll align both ellipses. Open the Align window, make sure the Align to Selection is checked and choose the Horizontal Align Center. Now select everything and either press the Ctrl and G buttons on your keyboard or go to Object and select Group. This will keep everything together. Next we'll draw two more ellipses. One will be representing the light coming from the top and the other one will reflect the light on the bottom. First select the ellipse tool, hover over the guideline and drag. While you are dragging your mouse press the Alt key as well. Using the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard we can adjust its position. Next we will add a gradient to it. This time we will use a different method. From the gradient panel choose white and black. Set the angle to 90. Change the black color step to white. Click on it to select it and while pressing down the Alt key click on white from the swatches panel. Now select the other white color step. Change its opacity to 0. And let's adjust the slider. Next click on it, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse press the Shift and Alt keys to make a copy. Now hover over one of the corners, click, hold and drag to rotate it by 180 degrees. Then click on the bounding box, hold and drag. And let's add a different effect. Go to the transparency panel and change the blending mode to overlay. Finally select everything, right click with your mouse and choose group. And of course you can use it on any background. You can resize it, rotate it and make a copy. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.